Welcome back, guys. My name is Side Effects May Include, and if you have never been here before, then get ready for me. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Because there's a lot to unpack here. So welcome back to our little house. Grab some coffee, folks, because today we're going to be talking about Blair, the Illuminati triangle woman who hates MLMs. I actually love Blair's content, but lately it looks like she's been getting into some internet feuds of some kind. I wasn't really sure what was going on, so I had to uh, do a little bit of research, running around, figuring it all out. And this is pretty much what, what happened here. Now, I chose to cover this story because I love making commentary videos every once in a while. And uh, everyone I see is talking about this dream John Swan drama crap. And it's like the story is really stupid. And I'm not super interested in who's right in that situation. Either way, to me, it doesn't matter. So I didn't really feel like covering that. But this, this story caught me off guard. And that's why we're here. So a YouTuber by the name of... Cruel World Happy Mind is being accused of subbotting by Blair and a bunch of other stuff, like catty stuff. She asked Blair if she copied part of her video in a DM after several of Cruel World's followers commented on it on one of her videos. The DM reads as follows. Hey, hon. Sorry, I had to. I'm not, I'm not gonna read it in that voice. <laughs> I don't know if you know of my channel. I'm a really small YouTuber who has been really inspired by the content you make. I got a few messages about the video you posted about Tyra's MLM, Tyra meaning Tyra Banks, because I've done a video on that topic. I'm really happy you're spreading more awareness on this topic, but it did low key feel like a lot of what you said in the beginning of the video was really similar to mine. Do, 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 do. You get the gist. Uh, coincidences happen, and I'm sure as a larger YouTuber, you are accused of stealing content from people you've never heard or seen before. So I get if this message comes across that way. With the intention of just being open and honest, I was really hurt by the video though, because you are someone who has really inspired me and the content I make. So I wanted to reach out and hopefully have an honest but positive conversation on it all. Either way, I still appreciate the work you do. And it ends with like a little happy star thing. So reading this, I don't get aggressive vibes from it at all. It seems like this girl just feels upset about what she feels to be copying and just wanted to reach out to Blair to go over it, I guess. Talk about it. I don't know if Illuminati did or didn't copy anything here. Trying to prove that fact is like next to impossible with the proof that's provided, which is just like not much. But what I do know is how Blair responded to this was wild. So instead of messaging her back or just ignoring it entirely, uh, she at first ignored the message, then went on to a small podcast to say this. Something I recently learned apparently is there is this whole uh, anti-MLM community, mm. right? I kind of thought I was on my own little island doing my <laughs> own thing. Maybe that's my own ego. I don't watch <laughs> their anti-MLM videos because yeah. I don't want to know what other people are saying or I don't want mm. it influencing what I do. Yeah. So I purposely... Um, like have terms like that blocked from my YouTube mm, yeah. sir and that kind of stuff can't influence me mm -hmm. yeah. um, What I did have happen though recently, which this is I don't I'm gonna try and keep it vague so I don't Mention this person's channel, but uh, it's a it's a very small youtuber claiming that I copied her and okay <laughs> she, claimed that I, she claimed that i copied her video that she had done Ooh. maybe a couple weeks ago right and the video that i had done the topic on was suggested to me multiple times from my comment section so i just listened right. to my comments and i made yeah. a video because that's what people were interested in my opinion on so she messages me and she goes i'm just really disappointed because you're someone i look up to and you copied my video and i want credit Right. So I didn't know who this person was. So I went to my moderators and my discord server and I was like, Hey, um, I screenshotted the message. I sent it to them. And I said, do you know, is this a YouTuber? Can you guys like tell me who this is or what they're even yeah. talking about? Cause I had no idea. Yeah. They come back to me. It's this small channel. I don't like how she framed this at all. Unless the screenshot from the message to Blair is fabricated in some way by cruel world. Um, she's not doing half the things Blair says here. So I don't understand why she would attempt to frame it this way at all. 
There's just no need for that. Apparently, after all this, the two of them kind of resolved their issues privately, at least according to Illuminati on her Twitter, and Cruel World did, in fact, retweet it, so most likely this is the end of their whole feud, or so we can hope. Then we can get along in perfect harmony, right? Just kidding. We all know you guys love this crazy crap. I do like Blair's content. I think her videos are well-made and usually researched a lot, which makes for an entertaining product. In my opinion, maybe she was having a bad day, read the message, took it as a personal attack. Sometimes when under stress or whatever turmoil is going on in our old brains, we can interpret things differently than how they are. It happens once in a while. Not a big deal. Of course, there is also the possibility Cruel World Happy Mind faked the screenshot and she actually was aggressive in her message, or the possibility it was not a misunderstanding, but in fact Blair attempting to make her competition look bad by stepping on them before they become a larger threat, but all that's just speculation. We'll have no way of ever, ever knowing. Point is, they worked out the crap, you know? They worked it out. But that's the thing with stories like these. You can't know the truth without proof. And frankly, there just isn't enough on the table here. We got a table with no meat or uh, corn for you vegans. We can't really conclude anything other than Blair lied on that podcast about the message and that you worked it out off the internet, so good on him. <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, if you like my content, leave me that like, throw me that fat sub, and join the Scripps Army, numbing that pain, with constant killer content, help me reach 10k. That'd be so good if we could get there together. If we can, that'd be such a milestone. And we'd get there together. We could make a scrapbook detailing all our adventures from 200-ish subscribers to 10k. Don't you want to be there with me? Come on, I know you do. Don't lie. Ah! Anyway... I'll see you guys next time. I mean the kind of music men hum or whistle when they feel on top of the world. And gentlemen, one of the many things that give you that zip-top feeling is the pleasure of being well-dressed.